Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 23 Ever to Korean mode. I finally got the background sorted yet again. Obviously, you will have all seen that we've got... Uh, I had shirts on the wall before, but I've managed to get it actually sorted out properly. It looks so much more cleaner. Um, so, yeah, I will be doing... When I get everything sorted, I will do like a tour or set up and stuff like that because obviously you want to see... I've got more shirts. So I just need to fill in this little gap here, um, which is very much annoying me, so I apologise for that. But um, yeah, I've had a couple days off recording, I apologise for that, I'm not going to get too much into it, but if you do follow me on Twitter, um, or even Instagram, you'll have seen the reason why. Um, yeah, today's episode very much needs, it, to be fair, it doesn't need that much hype, the game does it itself. Today's episode is the long-awaited Champions League final. Obviously, the last what, uh, last episode we put out was the Season 2 finale, and it, just, it was just the end of a, just an embarrassing season. So this episode, could it save it? I mean, does really winning the Champions League really save the season? Who knows? But, um, I mean, we've still got Chelsea, so there's no point even looking forward to that. But just quickly before we actually do jump into today's episode, if you haven't already, make sure you do hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, we're closing in on days now. We've not got that much time left. So if it doesn't happen, I'm not going to be too disheartened. The amount of support you've given me already is just more than I could have ever asked for. So thank you so much for that. Definitely will be a goal for next year, even my birthday next year, which is March time. So maybe can hit 2,000 for my birthday. Who knows? But anyways, enough waffling. Let's get into this Champions League final then. I really hope I don't bottle this. So well then, as mentioned, Chelsea in the Champions League final. What a game. What an occasion. Another all-English final. The semi-finals were played. I'm just going to speak on the semi-finals a minute because it's massive. Um, obviously, we played Bayern Munich, and I recorded one of the greatest comebacks I've ever done on any FIFA. Um, we were 3-0 down in the first leg, and then the second leg, I pulled it back, managed to proceed through to the final. And I said in that episode, that if we manage to win this Champions League final, if we manage to win after this Champions League run, that will easily be the best comeback of this series. But if we rewind a little bit to the first series, uh, first season, sorry, the last game of that, obviously I had to beat Chelsea to win the Premier League. Um, our one or two nil down, managed to bring it back and score in the last minute. We were Bobby. It was between them two. So really, Chelsea, the team that's stopping us or stopping themselves proceeding to any more embarrassment of having our best comeback of the series against them. So, I mean, if they're going to be logical about this and want to make a decent name for the club, they'd let us win this, because then the, our comeback against them means absolutely nothing, even though they could have won the Premier League if they beat us. There's no messing about them. There's nothing else that needs to be mentioned besides this just incredible occasion. We are in the Champions League final. We are coming up against Chelsea. They're still playing that five at the back formation. They've got Kukurella at centre-half, which... I mean, it's a bit debatable. We are playing our strongest 11. I'm so glad we've got everyone fit and just no injuries whatsoever. Madison's back into the lineup. Very much crucial to our building up play. So uh, I hope he doesn't go off injured this time because in the first leg against Bayern, that really did screw me over. If I'm right with saying this, and my memory could be way off here, if we manage to win this Champions League final, it would be the second piece of silverware that we've won in this series, which is just absolutely mental. I mean, the first season we won the Premier League, the second season, potentially the Champions League. How mental would that be? Yeah, we've not won the FA Cups, the Carabao Cups. We've done quite crap in them, if I'm being completely honest. But I mean, a Premier League and the Champions League title... You can't really complain of that, can you? But anyway, let's stop talking about the future. If we do manage to win this, the game is still present. It's still going to happen. We've still got a Chelsea team that's going to try the hardest to beat us and be the ones that lift that trophy. But I'm not going to let them. So, lads, let's turn up on this game. It's my first game on FIFA for quite a while, so this could be absolute suicide. Let's come home to Goodison Park with this Champions League trophy. Kayser do the finishing job. Chill well, don't let him pass. It's gone straight into Tammy Abraham. Oh my god, Jordan Pickford's kept as well in there. Incredible save by Jordan Pickford with awful defensively then. Can we counter attack from that? Marshall's made the run. Can we get uh, I tell you what, it's a great touch. Beats Kulabali on pace any day of the week. Anthony Marshall puts us 1-0 up in the Champions League final. Oh my I, I'll tell you what, roller coaster emotions. Awful defensively, awful at the back. Could have easily been 1-0 down. But it's us that are in front and got the advantage early on in the game. Anthony Marshall. He was so unfortunate not to break the Premier League record. He's currently joint with Salah. But, I mean, you can't really celebrate about that. But his run is just 
it's been incredible this season. It really has been incredible. If there's one thing we don't need next season, it's a striker. Incredible bit of play. One more. That is lovely. Kiesa, we've got no one in the box. Richardson's making a late run. Can he win him? Oh my god, I thought it was 2-0. I generally believe that was 2-0 for Charleston. I, I thought I'd reiterate this, by the way. I have still got sliders on. Oh my god, great inception. Marshall, Chelsea are absolutely gifting us here. They are so nervous, you can tell. Cooler ball, he tracks back really well. We are all over them in the first half. They keep giving the ball away. They're not creating anything. I mean, just look at that. Great bit of play. It's just not managed to get onto it. Chelsea, honestly, what are they doing? They balled the Premier League in the last game. Are they going to do it in the game with the Champions League? Or am I just going to eat my own words? And it's 1-1. Ziyech with an incredible goal. I don't know why I brought the goalkeeper out then. I seriously don't. That is my own fault. I've got no one else to blame then. It's 1-1. Am I going to be eating my own words? Probably so. I'll tell you what, imagine Madison scoring this in a Champions League final when everything's against him. Madison. I'll tell you what, that's not bad. Oh my god, I've just shut my controller and it stopped recording, so my celebration has just been cut short. Madison has scored. He, oh my, that is beautiful. That is perfect. That is the best score of this series by a million miles. There's no topping that in the Champions League final. When I've struggled to score three kicks all series. Oh, Madison, you, I've got to pause. You have absolutely outdone yourself there, lad. Oh my god, Marshall, finish. James Madison is, is something else. He's, he's the man for the big occasion. Him and Marshall, there's no beating that. There's no dynamic duo, there's no trio that's ever going to beat these two. Incredible. Absolutely, I, honestly, I have. I do just want to back myself up here and say that my transfers this season have been incredible. Corner to Chelsea then, see if they can make anything of this. They have been, honestly, besides their goal, they have been absolutely abysmal, and even their goal was just my fault. What a save by Jordan Pickford. We should be free and up. I've made a mistake. I'm so glad we've not really... There's still time, but I'm so glad I've not really suffered because of that. Yeah, we've suffered the clean sheet, but as long as we're lifting the trophy, I don't think Jordan Pickford minds. Madison is on one hell of a run. What an incredible player. Can he finish that? He's, he's just phenomenal. He's really phenomenal. He is... I think... I go as far to say, even with Marshall having him for, what, two seasons? The half a season or the season with Abby Madison, he has been my best signing. Havertz scores in the 87th minute. Okay, the pressure's a bit on now. I've been so quiet. Barely anything's happened in the second half. You've barely seen any of it. And then, and then just that. I've been trying so hard to concentrate to not concede any more, and we concede that. Two minutes left. It's got to be done. It really has to be done. Ziyech on the wing. <laughs> I mean, it's just over out of time. Dinier has defended it, surely. I'm just going to kick it out. Get in! We are a Champions League winners of what year we are? 2024? We have won the Champions League. I mean, I'm still fuming the, the Madison goal. I've thrown the controller. I've hit my keyboard and it stopped recording. So I'm got to make a full reaction weren't recording. But... We are Champions League winners. That's a Premier League we've got. That's a Champions League we've got. Lem Laz deserve it. Madison in particular and Marshall. I can't say one and not the other because they've both been incredible. But oh my God, what a performance.
so scared to leave my house So I cannot run free from this Always being watched by you And that's so inconsiderate My privacy, does that exist? Probably haven't heard of it Need to live a different life Cause lights and cameras are in it well, I mean, lads, we're not going to be playing Europa League next year. We are going to be playing Champions League. I had to get it in there somehow. What a side. Honestly, what a side. I'm still unsure whether it's safe this season in particular, but, I mean, it still feels good nonetheless. I will show you everyone's stats at the end of the season. Well, I'll show you them now. I didn't show you in the last episode because we still had that game for players to contribute to. Um, but, yeah, it's been... A roller coaster emotions of a season. It's not been the greatest when it comes to silverware, but we won the Champions League. We're going to be playing Champions League next season, luckily, after the bottle of the top four. But yeah, Anthony Marshall with 55 goals in a season, 56 appearances. I mean, 15 assists. He's just incredible. He is just incredible. A striker very much not needed next season. Kiesa up there with 16 goals, four assists. Dwight McNeil, 16. Anthony Gordon with 11, and then I'll just keep scrolling down. You can stop anytime you want to have a look at a player in particular's uh, stats for me. But what a season. What, uh, I shouldn't say season, what a game. Assists. Alex Awob is up top. I'm surprised about that, but Madison, we did only sign in January. I mean, that is just, yeah. I've got an incredible team. I don't know how I'm going to improve it next season, if there's going to be a next season. So on that note, if you do want me to carry on this series with Ever Everton in particular, please do let me know. Or if you would like me to start a new series from fresh with a different team, please do let me know. Because, I mean, it's been on my mind. I am definitely wanted to carry on a career mode series somehow, just on the team. Who knows? But yeah, please do let me know. It's been, like I said, a rollercoaster motion of a season, but to end it that good. It's just incredible. But to end off this video, I do just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you that's just stayed loyal to the series, stayed loyal to my channel recently. The amount of support I've been receiving has been immense. The amount of DMs I've been getting, the amount of comments I've been getting. I can't thank you enough. I really can't thank you enough. And for me to post stuff like this, enjoy it myself and know that you lot are going to enjoy it. Even when I do have just awful episodes, you still manage to enjoy it. So thank you all so much for that. Like I said, please do let me know how you want me to carry on this series. Um, different team with Everton let me know and uh, yeah thank you all for watching season 3 or season 1 just around the corner take care stay safe and I'll see you all soon